came across this piece and I wanted to share it with you. Um, what this is, is African Americans during the Holocaust, you know, and there's a lot of researchers like myself and other people who are um, trying to get an account of how many of us, because we can't really get an actual number of how many of us actually died in the Holocaust because they didn't keep us that long. Um, they shot us on sight, right? And here is a piece right here that deals with it. Uh, many black people who lived in Germany, right? Um, the Nazi regime were prosecuted, uh, alienated, and murdered during this period. Uh, the Nazi viewed them as a threat to the purity of the Germanic race. Nazi propaganda posters showed friendship across racial groups referred to a loss of racial pride. In the 1920s, around 24,000 black people were living in Germany. Um, African-German mixed race children were economically and socially marginalized in German society and not allowed to attend universities. Under the Nazis, black people were um, black people no longer had jobs and were excluded from many aspects of life. Well, when the Nazis came to power, one of the first directives was aimed at mixed race children underlying Hitler's obsession with racial purity. By 1937, um, every identified mixed race child in Rhineland had been forcibly sterilized in order to prevent further race polluting, as Hitler termed it. Um, Hans Hart, a black survivor of uh, Nazi racial policies and a victim of the sterilization pro um, program explained in a in the film Hitler's Forgotten Victims that I gotta find that um, film Hitler's Forgotten Victim I gotta go look that up that when he was forced to undergo sterilization as a teenager um, he was given no anesthetic once uh, once he received the sterilization certificate he was free to go as long as he agreed to have no sexual relations with Germans, black prisoners of war. And this is the part I was referring to earlier. Prisoners of war, POWs faced mistreatment at the hand of the Nazis who did not uphold regulations imposed by the Geneva Convention. Uh, the Geneva Convention was uh, uh, sort of like a United Nations before it was the United Nations. It was this gathering of countries. Um, coming off the atrocities of World War One, they all came up with a bunch of rules of war that we were not going to engage in. And if, and if you did, then you would be considered a war criminal, uh, such as certain type of gassing and the handling of prisoners of war. Well, right here, you see clearly uh, prisoners of war face mistreatments at the hands of the Nazis who did not uphold the regulations imposed by the Geneva Convention. International Agreement on the Conduct of War in the Treatment of Wounded and Captured Soldiers. Black soldiers of the American, French, and British armies were worked to death on construction projects or died as a result of mistreatment and concentration or prisoner of war camps. Others were even incarcerated. Uh, others were never even incarcerated, but were instead immediately killed. By the SS or Gestapo, black prisoners receive harsher treatment and less food than white POWs. And while it's most white um, POWs were imprisoned, many of the black soldiers either worked until they died or were executed. Yep. And this is a film. Right. It's like some sort of film. It's a minute. Nobody suffered more. We even died in this shit and it had nothing to do with us. This had absolutely nothing to do with us. But we had to. Because imagine if we wouldn't have gotten involved. 
and Germany would have won. Germans We'd have been were sterilizing or castrating all eliminated. colored men with German nationality. A few weeks later, a colored friend of mine was summoned to the Gestapo headquarters in Frankfurt. I never saw him again. Yeah, see the, the 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 Jewish population made, you know, they don't they don't share the, their victim card with anybody, so they never we never even been acknowledged as being a part of that, in terms of the victim because that victim card is exclusively for them, you know, not the Russians and what they went through or no no one else. Everything that we are force fed in this country relating to the Holocaust is just from the, the victim angle of one particular group. When others lost millions in other conflicts and other issues. But the first time they really experienced a concentration of loss, we are still being forced. That's how you got Israel. That's how you got Israel. It was a justification for Israel. But. I just want to mention this, not to go on and on about them, right? But just really to address the issue here of we died in that too. <laughs> we were treated like absolute shit in that too.